and welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Clay. KO4MEX is my amateur call sign. And today I'm doing something I don't typically do. It's a kind of an unboxing. Uh, but this is a great opportunity to show you this radio I'm going to be talking about. It's the Quan Sheng UVK5. Right, and here's the box. Uh, this one is a uh, the blue one. The YL has ordered one for herself. She's currently in Texas right now and has mine. <laughs> uh, all right. So I don't remember mine coming with um, its own USB-C, which is pretty cool. Uh, this one has Type-C and a base charger. There's the Type-C. And there's the blue Quanshang. Got the clip. And the rubber ducky here. So that's, and of course, the uh, earpiece and the obligatory tassel. <laughs> this is such an awesome radio. Um, I'll show you on the video the one that I have. Um, this thing is just so cool. For $30, it will do quite a lot. And you just really can't beat it. I'm, of course, I'm not paid or anything to do this. Uh, I just think it's a really, really sweet radio, and I want to share that with y'all. Um, pretty simple. This, this radio is very easy to program just within its menu. And with a new firmware, you can add to this. This thing will receive from 18 megahertz all the way up to like 2 gigs. Uh, pretty, pretty impressive for a $30 radio. Now, uh, it does transmit out of the box on the 220 band. The 1.25 meter band and also uh, the spurs on it are pretty decent considering but other people have claimed to be transmitting on those uh, on like 10 meters and uh, 17 meters with this thing now you have to be really careful with that because uh, you'll be transmitting way out of your band in 14 different places. So do be aware with that, but it, it does receive. Um, I haven't played around a whole lot with that myself, <clears throat> but if I like connected my dipole to this, and I'm sure I'd be hearing quite a bit, especially on 10 meters as it's been uh, doing really well lately. So we'll power it on. One. I've got chirp pulled up on my computer and I can go ahead and upload this and we can take it outside and try to make a contact with it. Uh, once again, $30 radio. It's way better. Uh, <laughs> way, way better than one of these, of course. Uh, this was my very first radio I got and it's pretty beat up. It, uh, this is far superior to this and for nearly the same price. So keep that in mind if you're looking for a radio, uh, as a beginner ham, especially, uh, this will be a lot of fun for you being able to listen on many other frequencies. Now, you're probably not going to hear a whole lot with the rubber ducky on those receive frequencies. 
outside of the 70 centimeter band and 2 meter band. Now this radio does not come with its own programming cable so you'll have to buy one, order one separately and they're also pretty cheap. Uh, definitely something you want to get with this. I'll go ahead and plug this in. Now this is right out of the box. I have not uh, installed the firmware on it yet, but we'll do that. That should be in there good. Didn't hear it click. There we go. Alright, now check this out. Uh, this is GitHub, I think. Yep. And I'll have the link in the description there. Um, here's where you can get the firmware, updated firmware for this. And before I flash it, I just want you to see how the screen looks. There's uh, no S meter. Uh, there's no... You just pay attention to the battery up there and things like that. And now we're going to turn this off. You're going to push the PTT in while turning it on and the light comes on there and that's in uh, its programming mode. So now we're going to select this link here and see this? You can flash with the browser if you're using Google Chrome, you just click flash with the browser and and then that automatically populates and without having to download anything you can just flash it right from the browser. I'm going to select flash and the COM port here and connect and now it's going. And you can see about how long it takes, already halfway there. And it's done. Once you turn the back on, you can see the EG Zoomer firmware popped up there. Now you can see the battery life in percentage and when you're receiving now you can see there's a S meter the battery thing is so cool and just having an S meter uh, and it's pretty accurate it, it works well and now I'm gonna just go ahead and get on Chirp and program this radio real fast. I've already got that um, uploaded or from my previous radio, so I'm just going to put that on the radio real fast. And then we'll go outside and test it. Alright, now we're outside. I have programmed this new Quan Sheng. And uh, let's see if we can make a contact with it. KO4 MEX testing a new radio out. Anyone listen? KO4 MEX KX4 DDE. <laughs> KX4 DDE KO4 MEX. Good afternoon. Uh, uh, this is Clay, and I'm testing out a new Quan Sheng uh, handheld. Over. Sounded pretty good to begin with. Now it's real fuzzy. I'm not sure what the difference is. Good afternoon. The time is 5 p.m. Uh, well, I'm using the rubber ducky, and I've probably just uh, moved in the wrong direction. I'm located up here in Hampstead. Uh, is this any better? Uh, yeah, that's much better and it just come in the mail so I just got it programmed and just making sure it's working well. Yeah, it's working pretty well. Um, yeah, I'm down here in Ogden so I'm not very far away anyway. Although we're on the, I'm not sure where this repeater is but 
Probably further away than Ogden from you. Roger that. Yeah, it's about 30, 30 miles or so from here, but it's got such a large uh, footprint. That's uh, the one I'm on most of the time. I, I this one and the uh, two meter repeater. <clears throat> okay. Yep, you're sounding pretty darn good. Roger, Roger. Well, thank you for coming back to me. I'm going to jump out of here and uh, uh, have some final thoughts on this video uh, video I'm making. So, uh, 73, this is KO4 MEX. I'll be clear on your final. All right, good talking to you, sir. KX4 DBE, clear. Well, it works good. Every time I've heard other people on this radio, and there's several in this area that have gotten on board with this particular radio, and I can never tell if they're on one of these or on an expensive base station rig. Uh, very good audio output, and it has a great microphone. So uh, do consider getting one. If you're, if you're a, a new ham especially, and you're looking for... Uh, a good price radio to get your feet off the ground. I think this is a pretty darn good contender here to choose from because it will do a lot more than just the Balfang and and I've used several of them. I've got a few and over the couple years of using them I just kind of got bored with them and didn't really use them a whole lot but ever since I've got this I've been carrying it around with me everywhere and I've had a lot of fun with it. So take that with what you will. I'm not twisting your arm to do anything. It's uh, your decision to make. And I just wanted to share with y'all the fun I've had with it. And uh, we'll go back in here where I can see a little better. And I can uh, try to show you a few other things like with the receive and whatnot and it's also got a spectrum scope on it too i didn't mention that uh, stick around all right this thing's about gotten completely covered in pollen already uh but yeah so we proved that the repeater works and of course my cat's up here now hey maya uh move Now with the new firmware, the uh, menu is a little different, and these buttons on the side you can program, they're programmable. The sh short press and long press, so you can really customize this thing to do what you want. Uh, you can adjust your mic gain. Uh, really just quite a bit you can do channel display that's what I want I want the name and frequency so when we go back out of here now and that's the repeater we were just talking on and thank you to that gentleman that come back to me I've got several and of course I go to Virginia often so I have some repeaters in there in the areas that I frequent and some other parts of North Carolina that I go through but yeah alright so let's press the function and FM and that gives us regular radio if you press the F key and 5 it'll take you to this and that's the uh, spectrum scope and I'm still trying to learn how to operate this part a little more easier um, uh, 
Now, when you're in this mode, see it's... Huh, okay, so it was uh, picking up something there. And it's an FM mode, as you can see. And if you press that and press the FM again, then it'll receive an AM. And once more, it'll receive an upper sideband, which is awesome. Now, I'm trying to remember how to change the frequency here. All right. I uh, connected my dipole up to this thing so we can receive some signals here. getting a little late so the band's starting to close down a little bit. It's not as active as it was earlier. It's not a Shanghai, it's Quan Shang. I say give it a shot. It's pretty darn cool. Since you were able to hear some 10 meters upper sideband on it, that's pretty neat. The antenna auto tuner wasn't tuned for the uh, 17 meters, so you didn't hear a whole lot there. But I am not a source of a bunch of info on it. Uh, you should go read and check out more specs on it, more than I can describe right now. <laughs> but yeah, that's the video. I'm Classic Clay, and y'all take care.